Backstage formations being made. What's going on? The whole show going crazy. We got Mark, my boy Mario, was in the comments saying he wanted to be a part of it. Got you, Chris Williams. I don't even think you said it, but you always supporting. Had to make it. Got you. Can't really see a full image of your dude right now, but it's all good. I got you. I kind of like how this scenery is. This look real wholesome. <clears throat> Ruzu just sitting right here. Look like he discussing business with Cole Reckoning. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. They look like they ready. Cole Reckoning to change this whole... The man had red hair at first. He changed it purple. Just to meet with the, the, the purple team formation. Ruzu. In the comments, I said something about you being a scout or something like that. In a, in a video. And then you were saying something like a personal trainer. And I was like, you know what? How about we take what I said and take what you said and blend both? So it's like you are part of a tag team formation. You're not just, you, 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 you like a coach and you actually wrestle too. It's like you like a leader, but it's like you're a head coach of your group. I was like, why not blend the two together? And y'all got some code going on, bro. Y'all got the biggest squad on the car roster so far. Y'all doing y'all thing, bro. Y'all doing y'all thing. Okay, man. First match. We hitting hard. <clears throat> they kind of quick. I should... They don't look effective. But no, the first match, we got Breeze going up against Don Fatality. Now... Don Fatality, we didn't we kind of show that he ain't really a man to mess with. But, at the same time, there was a Zahn he faced. Zahn is the is a cruiserweight deal. While Don is a super heavyweight. Now, Breeze is just a regular heavyweight. It's not like he's super stocky, but he a regular heavyweight. And I personally think Breeze can handle him. King of hardcore? We already given him that title before he even proved himself. That's crazy. I think he can do it, bro. I hope he can do it. Because uh, if you ain't got no kind of fight back, bro, Don will expose that. He really would. I'll be seeing Breeze and Don go back and forth in the, the live chat. I feel like y'all too. Hey, I feel like that's a battle in itself. That should be a battle in itself. So we finna see how this gonna work. Should, should, you know what I should do? We should start doing a make your bet early kind of thing. Since it be live... Place your bet early. Who you got, Breeze or Don? One for Breeze, two for Don. I need to I'm gonna give y'all time to make that so y'all can pop it up in the chat or whatever. But I don't know, man. I think I'm just gonna be real. I think Don is like an un unstoppable force. I really do. I personally think if I'm like breaking fourth wall, if I'm personally thinking, I think he's gonna shoot his way up to being a champ. 
probably the world. And like I think we got another dominant person. He kind of like a Bianca Boom, bro. He, but he now he ain't quick like her. He ain't got the skill like her. But the strength, the strength is such a powerful factor on this game. From what I've experienced playing it, strength is like the number one thing in my opinion. And he might, he might run, he might run through these folks. That's all I'm saying, bro. Let's see though. Go backstage fight too. Big Crush, I know you're cowering backstage. Cleanse into that inner title of yours. Already. That may be the safest place for you right now. But that treasure can't stay buried forever. You're talking. You're talking crazy. I want you to pay attention to what happens in this match. Because you're next. Breeze, you gotta defend yourself, bro. You can't let this man make an example out of you like that. You talking. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Start doing this more backstage with the ring back there. I don't, you know what though? I remember some Nintendo 64 WWF No Mercy mods where they put the ring backstage. Bro, I remember that. I remember that mods. I gotta get into that, bro. I love to post some of that on this channel. It's like the perfect place to fight. I swear. We gonna start doing this. In fact, this is gonna be like a breeze special. We're gonna make this like a breeze kind of thing, bro. Any, since since he the king of hardcore, we giving him that title. Any match he in, this is what we do. I ain't gonna say any match. But like if it's a 1v1 versus Breeze, we we putting him back here. He getting his butt handed to him right now though, but you know. That's gonna happen. It's done, you know, you can't you can't go up against this man. Like like it's a regular opponent. Okay, this man Donald ain't doing nothing but submissions. And I've been seeing M. Dicky, bro. He posted that uh that open world free roam. He testing it. I know it's gonna be some bugs and glitches. He probably fixing that right now as we speak. But man, I can't wait, bro. I cannot wait on career mode. No more like just intermission. I get to just walk around, talk crap, probably start some beef, even though I'm pretty sure starting beef on there backstage, that's going to play with your health a lot, bro. Okay, Donald jumping off tables? He ain't even go for the pin. Huh? What the heck is Stone Cold doing here with hair? This the young Stone Cold. Man came out as a ref. You know it's wild if Stone Cold come out as a ref. Just to volunteer. I know it's wild. M. Dickey is a... <laughs> he a real fool for, for making the young uh, Stone Cold. Keep in mind, this is in my uh, roster on PC. So, I don't edit the real people. I literally plan on making all custom people over the real people. Bobby Joseph doing the commentary. I can just imagine what he's saying. One, two, three. Donald doing his thing, bro. Doing his thing. Breeze, I'm sorry, bro. I, I just had to. I just had to just to get some kick started, bro. I had to. Y'all always going at it in the chat. I had to. Donald just so happened to be an, an unstoppable wrestler on here. It happens. This man still trying to do pen attempts. No. Y'all not finna hurt Bobby Joseph just sitting there minding his business like that, bro. Alright, just a little break in the action, though, just to show off the new crew. Got Cole Record in here. Last time y'all seen him, I think it was on episode one or two, he looked a lot different. He joined the crew that's more based around, like, a purple, bluish color, so change his attire to that. He, instead of the red dreads, he got purple dreads now. Ruzu, his outfit a little brighter now, but he got his own crew. That and it's a heel, it's a heel crew. That's what make it better. It's a heel crew. And like I said, my boy Mario was in the comments saying, uh, "Want to be made? I got you, bro. I'm literally going down the list. Literally going down the list to create people. So I, I, I've been on top of creating y'all, bro. I really have. Uh, 
uh, yeah, called you Mario Almighty. And it's like the first three letters of the last name on your your, your uh, YouTube account name. That was just right on the spot. Just came up right with it. Chris Williams. Like I said, I know you didn't ask, bro, but I got to get you in here. You, you, you be supporting like crazy. Chris Williams made him. He, he like a real technical wrestler. As you can see, the man's skill is on 97. 97. He's going to be a problem. He's going to be a problem. I know that. That's that I know for a fact. And Mario being the strength of the group, that's going to help. Because it's really like it's split up into two teams. Cole and Ruzu are the headmasters of the squad. Mario and Chris are like the the young, you know, like the young guns kind of. And y'all just, they follow in the lead of Ruzu and Cole. But... It's a goaded group overall, so they supposed to just really be doing great. It's supposed to be like a good experience, and they all heal. I'm telling you, man. I, I figured I was like, if Ruzu gonna be a scout, Ruzu can't be a person that scout like idiots or something dumb. He gotta be like a mastermind, and that's how I want to treat it. My phone is going absolutely crazy right now. And I made a Nova Nash. I forgot whose name it actually was, but I know they call, they, they told me to name him Nova Nash. They told me to make him tall, braids, tattoos. I just went along with the look. Hopefully you like it, bro. And if you don't like it, please just go with it. I don't really want to make changes. <laughs> I really don't. But I hope you're cool with it, bro. Nova Nash, that is a dope name. That's a very dope name. In fact, we about to put you in a match right now. We create matches on the spot. I like it. Creating matches on the spot. Steve Maverick ain't had an opponent in a long time, bro. It's been a while. It's been a while. But you know who ain't fought even longer than that? My boy Gregory Hero. It's a good 1v1 right here, too. Good 1v1. <clears throat> a lot of skill involved. Here we go. Here we go. Headphones. I ain't even got a phone. I don't even got the headphones. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Man. Gregory Hero grabbing a weapon? That's different. Over Nash coming to the ring. Debut. Killer Chris over there. Is the trophy in his hand? He do. He got it. He got it up here though. Okay. Killer Chris. Chris like, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and do y'all thing. Hopefully y'all get good and become number one contenders so I can put my trophy in on that. Ooh. Okay. We ain't, like I said, we ain't seen Gregory Hero in a while. Got the submission going. He better get up out of that, though. Or he get counted out. This Chris breathed in the trophy. Okay. I see he's still excited. He got it. That's what's up. Okay, submissions outside. They don't care about this guy. Look, bro, I'm not restarting this match. Either, so please get it. Hey. Good dodge. I, do, I didn't want to see this match end. No. Please, bro. He holding. That's good. He holding. I mean, he got two seconds to get up. Good stuff, bro. Good stuff. My goodness. Yeah, I, I definitely should have removed him too. This man, Greg, and these freaking submissions, though. My God. He trying to kill you, just in case you didn't know. He, he's trying to kill you. It's like even the computer know, like, oh yeah, we can kill people in this game? Gotcha. That's my goal. That's my mission. Killer Chris on the commentary table. It's always funny seeing them, because I instantly get to imagine what they would be saying. Killer Chris. The name like Killer Chris. He can't be doing nothing but talking about something that has to do with being a menace. You just know it. 
of the submission. Is that he 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 being what he's supposed to be. Though. Gregory is supposed to be like a real technical wrestler. He's definitely being. My God, bro, he's not giving this man no but no chance to breathe. Still can't get over how dope that is. No bananas. Okay, gonna gather himself. Very, very smart. Ooh, with the spear. Revert. Red. Are you like this for real? Like, this is really who you are, ain't it? Ultimate opportunist. You think he is? Nope. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> he survived it though. He didn't go for a pin. Nova, you got a chance, bro. It's, it's, it's not looking good, but you got a chance. Okay, good reversal. this point it's either this man gonna tap or he gonna rip one of his limbs off that's what it looked like nova fighting him. He, he, he definitely fighting back and uh, uh, trying to survive he, he, boy punish right now this is my career i'm gonna tell you right now if i was in nova situation instantly going for that count out victory without a doubt Greg with the win. That was a good win. It was a good win. Kind of dominant, too. Kind of dominant. I always feel like, though, with debuts, it is like they, it's their first time experiencing how deep the competition is. So it's like, you can't even really judge a bad debut. Really can't. I think Nova got a bright future, though, man. It's just he went up against a guy who was too ready. He ain't been on a he ain't been on a show in a while. He he was ready for this. Alright, we're gonna end this off with 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 uh Y'all know who, man. It's about to get nasty up here. Here we go, man. Oh shit! Boom. Oh shit! Big crush. This time it is for the world title. Bianca Boom failed at her chance to get Big Crush title. It was, early, it was an early victory. Big Crush made her tap quick. She was rushing in too much. He got the perfect time, put her in a perfect lock, got her out of here. Will she learn from her mistake? One for Big Crush, two for Bianca. I know I ain't doing it on the last one. Look, I, I forgot, okay? I'm, this is the first time I'm trying this. Who y'all got, bro? One for Big Crush, two for Bianca. Who y'all got? I think I think Bianca gonna retain. That's my vote personally. I think she's gonna retain. Let's do this. Eric Irony. This man doing the commentary. Okay. Her world title obviously on the you know on the side. They always do that. Weapons in the ring, okay. I mean, look on the bright side though, if she do lose her title, she still got the winners. This man come out with the whole game. Uncle and Steve now. Crazy man, him and Steve still tag team partners. That's that's why. That's why. It's like Big Crush got him up, got him a success train going too. Well. Bianca Boom, I'm surprised you even showed up for this match. After the beating I gave you last time, Big Crush talking crazy. The result won't be any different tonight. You're as predictable as a book, but easier to put down. Is this a heel turn? That's what we call it. Big Crush heel turn. That's what it is. And Bianca Boone, a super face. Big Crush, yep. Big Crush heel turn. That's what it is. That's what we calling it. Big Crush did have his special being healed in the face in the 
for real mode, so yeah, I like it. We gotta start having more of the standard furniture out here though, so we can have like a table holding that title. Cause the little ghetto would have just been on the ground. That table should be over there with that title. This man, Steve, always picking up her world title. He want that title back that bad. That is crazy. Big Crush, man. Big Crush about to have a chance to be a world champ. That is wild. Throwing the mic the Superman punch. Missing. Feel your pain, bro. I remember them days. Out of how many missed Superman punches? We ain't even got to focus on that. Like in a match right now, Bianca Boom actually got Big Crush help down half. Now Big Crush working on doing that to her. So it's a pretty balanced match. Ooh, the reversals. Two skillful people going at it. I love it. Gonna make her tap again. No rope break. Okay. Bianca needs some freaking backup, bro. And with Big Crush being healed, his group can really be like infiltrating a lot. It really can. Bianca fight back though. Super face. Super baby face. Into this, it's not. Ooh, just her standing up is an attack. That's crazy. Flexing with her title too. That was a perfectly timed kick, bro. Is it me or it's like? Ooh. I was just about to say, is it me or is it like the CPU be timing the Uncle Boom stuff perfectly? As if, as if she like got user controls. I like that. I like that Bianca won't stand out as a special character, like even with the CPU control. She torn, got that nice stick. This man talking with a cherry. Intercontinental champ. Is that the Intercontinental or United States? Ain't that what, what have I been called? Yeah, the Intercontinental champ and the world champ. Bianca. She still got the women's champ. So it ain't like she title this. But man. She had a nice run though. She definitely had a nice run. Had a nice run. It was and it wasn't a, a, a punk type of title run either. Like she she fought. She fought. She remained fighting. Even even got her way into being a women's champ by fighting for that title too. So, dang, man. Let me go ahead and make him heal now. We can do this right. 
right here so I don't have to forget. The man is healed. Yikes. Him. We making we making a whole group here, bro. Or Bobby Joseph. Oh my goodness. We got so many heels, bro. I ain't gonna lie though. I prefer more heels than faces. Cause you don't want everybody to be heroes. I would rather have a lot of villains than a lot of heroes. Cause hero stories, you do be wanting them to win at the end. And with villain stories, it's like win or lose. They 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 stay relevant somehow. It's crazy. But man, there go the man right there, bro. Double champ, big crush making his way back into being the, the biggest thing for Wrestling Empire. Once again, bro. My goodness. More people coming on the way, bro. I got a lot more people to create. Uh, Ruzu teased his group. Uh, I'm going to have them debut on the next episode. Uh, yeah. I may not have any more new people other than that, though. I don't know. I don't know. I might, I might create somebody right now. Because so. I, I do feel like I want to keep recording. So, yeah. Thank you.